Nine years old when she turned a family recipe into an international brand. Today, she is a 17-year-old CEO, and she's not stopping there. Roll it. This is Leanna. She lives in New York, but her family hails from Haiti. For years, all the women in Leanna's family used a special hair oil. It was a family recipe made in Haiti, and it made their hair look great. People were always asking Leanna, how'd you get that hair? So she had a bright idea. She started mixing up batches at home and selling them. She sold out immediately, and a big business was born. Now Leanna's a teenage CEO and the youngest person ever to ring the NASDAQ bell. Welcome, Leanna. Thank you. So, all right, when was the moment? This is a family recipe. Yeah. So you grew up knowing about this recipe. Yeah, it's been used in my uh, hair since I was maybe three years old, and I've never stopped using it. And you guys would make it in your house? Well, originally, my great-grandmother, she lived in Haiti. And over the years, she came to live with us in New York. And um, then the product being began being made in my house. And when did you have the idea, because nine is really young, <laughs> that yes. you could make a company out of this? I actually got the idea to uh, sell the product uh, about a year or two before, but I never thought of selling it myself. This was something I brought to my mom and said, you know, mom, go and sell this product. So many people want it. And because she was already working. How old are you right there? I was maybe. I don't know, seven years old, eight okay, years old. Okay, so this is about the age when you're yes. realizing we've got something here. Yeah. And your mom says to you what? She says, if you want to do it when you're in college, I don't see why not. So wait off till then, and I wanted to make it available now. So So what happened? So I went behind my mom's back. and <laughs> <laughs> At the time, um, my little brother was still eating out of Gerber jars. So I took those Gerber jars and I put the product in, had a little book bag, walked around, and every time somebody would stop me and ask me, what are you using your hair? I'd say, I don't really know, but take it. <laughs> and so you were just, you were like, you were getting everybody um, into it by just giving yeah. it away for free. Yeah, I, and that was an accomplishment to me. I, I mean, people wanted the product, they got it, they were happy, I was happy. And after that, you know, people would actually show up at my house saying, okay, uh, your Gerber char helped, but now I want $50 worth of it. <laughs> so, so now you've got them hooked. Yeah. <laughs> What's the name of the product? It's called Leanna's Hair Products. It's called Leanna's Hair Products. So yes. you put your name in the title. <laughs> yes. And now it is a profitable company. Yes, it is. Um, I've been grossing over $100,000 recently. Wow. And so, look at that. And what is that like now when your family, what's their reaction? What this worked, this idea worked. Um, when, when my family saw that this was something I actually wanted to do and that people love the product, you know, they, they were really supportive and they helped my dad actually quit his job in 2006 and started working with me since then. Does he work with you or technically does he work for you? He works for me. <laughs> Just clarify. Yeah. Yes, I'm my dad's boss. You are your dad's boss. Not many, not many young women can say that. Well, I can. Do you still live at home? <laughs> Yes, it's still, everything's done from home, actually. Um, I manufacture the products from my basement. I took over the whole bottom level of my house. It's my workspace. You're a very confident young woman. <laughs> Even now, when I'm sort of joking with you, you, you deflect it like, not that funny. <laughs> I am the CEO. We all get the joke. <laughs> have you always been that way, or has this experience helped you mature? I, I would have to say that over the past co couple of years, uh, I've learned so much, and it, I, it is a learning experience. I'm still learning, but it does give me confidence um, in knowing that I can take responsibility for something mm. and watch it grow, and I'm um, the driving force behind it, so. Congratulations Thank on that. Thank you. And you went to Haiti and started a foundation. Yes. What's going on in Haiti? Well, I went to Haiti for the first time when I was 13. Um, the years, I started my company in 2005, and from then, every year my parents would go and, and showcase the product. So I insisted on going, although they didn't want me to go, they thought it was gonna be a culture shock. Um, eventually, I forced my way into it. I went down there, and there were so many children in the streets who weren't in school. There were 
younger than I am and some older, just fending for their lives, really. And the only thing that set me apart from them is having the opportunity to go to school and have a home at the end of the day, the things we take for granted. And Isn't I decided I decided I could not leave that country without making an impact on even if it was one person's life. What's the name of your foundation? It's the uh, Leanna Archer Education Foundation, and we're building schools down there, providing them with food and shelter. And you know what else you're doing? You are branding. You are branding. Your name is in the product. Your name is in the philanthropy. You're a really bright, uh, amazing young woman. Thank and you. I hope you, I wish you the best of success. Thank you so much. Thanks for being here. Thank you. All right, everybody in the audience is going to get a gift bag of products from Leanna's Hair Company. Coming up, how one young girl took her passion for nail polish and turned it into a way to give back. Be right back.